Well, it is about that time where it's a uh, a good we're at a good point to start experimenting with extending the admin UI. And uh, one of the reasons why we want to do that is because uh, it's time to start uh, playing with some additional plugins, extending the graphical interface to add some functionality into the admin UI plugin. Um, and to do that, so to get started, we're just going to step through these docs here at first, and then we're going to build on uh, through a couple videos, something pretty cool that I think will be um, pretty interesting. But for this first video, I think we're just going to go through this getting started guide and set up the basics. Like our other videos, we're going to be starting with this same code that we've been using throughout the other videos. So there may be some minor modifications, but nothing that uh, is really worth mentioning. Like we have our multi-vendor plugin still sitting there that shouldn't interrupt anything. It shouldn't uh, change anything since we'd be playing with this admin UI plugin at this point. Um, so just to quickly scroll through uh, some of this documentation and give it a quick summary. Um, so the UI extension uh, is an Angular module. Like it's compiled with the admin UI application bundle, uh, but the UI extensions can be written in React, Vue, um, also uh, Angular as well. And Angular does introduce this concept of lazy versus shared modules, just meaning that uh, whether the module, uh, the code is, is loaded up um, prematurely, or if it's lazy loaded, then it's only uh, loaded up when the code is actually activated. Dev mode just talks about enabling dev mode. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we will introduce this uh, deployment step as compilation rather than compiling. This is so that we don't have to compile the admin UI after every modification. We compile it once, and then we refer to the uh, compiled code. And it just talks a little bit about that. And then it talks about excluding the UI code for our extensions, so that's not compiled by our regular TypeScript compilation. And then you exclude the uh, actual compiled code as well, the compiled extension. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be uh, developing our extension with Angular. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to add a UI, UI dev kit. All right, once that's done installing, I'm going to go into our plugins folder here and create a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, our plugin. And this will be where we actually um, store our files. The documentation uh, suggests storing it under source and then UI extensions. Um, we're we're going to do it this way in this video just because in future videos, um, we're going to structure this as a plugin. And we'll be adding multiple files to this. So um, this will just keep things a little bit uh, more organized. So from the docs here, I'm just going to take this uh, sample component. You can see here that they want it in uh, UI extensions, greeter.component.ts. So we're, we're going to name it the same file, but we're just going to put it in within our plugin here. Reader.component. And to create the actual uh, module, the Angular module, I'm going to create another file called creator.module.ts. And then we're going to grab this code here. And we're going to paste this in. And we can see here that our Angular module is referencing our component we just created and also defines our breadcrumbs. Simple enough. The next part of the documentation um, mentions is how we can compile this if we want to compile it every single time. Since we're going to do things a little bit differently, uh, we're not going to follow this. We're actually going to uh, compile it once and then reference the compiled path here. So to do that, we want to uh, create, go into our source directory. We're going to create a new file called compile-admin 
dash ui dot ts. And inside this file, we're just going to copy um, this code from the docs here. And our job will be to fill in this extensions array here to define our extensions. And to actually run this script, I'm going to define a new, a new script here in our package. I'm going to call it uh, compile, compile UI. And it's just going to run the command that's given uh, here. And that should just make it a little bit easier for us. Actually, instead of building off of this file, I think what I want to do is um, I'm going to use a different starting point. So inside Avenger eCommerce, the main repository, the official repo here, or the official organization, there is a repo called Real World, Real World Avenger, which gives some examples of different UI extensions and different tooling, things like that. Um, and inside here, they actually give a compile admin ui.ts file. And I think this is would be a better starting point, a little bit easier for us. It does the same thing. So you can see here it calls compile UI extensions. And, and then it, uh, you know, it defines its, its UI extensions here as reviews, plugin, and non-angular UI extensions. So we're going to modify a little bit, but uh, this will give us a little bit better starting point. It does some other checks. Let's see if we can throw that in here. And we're going to get rid of the reviews plugin and this extension that's referencing. And we're just going to start from this point here. Now let's uh, rename this our compilation path. Instead of going up one, let's see, we should be here in the source directory. So we're going to have it output into admin UI right there. And then the I'll put these to admin UI forward slash disk. Okay, looks good. It's a, it's a bit better since our plugin in the future will have other things besides this UI stuff. Let's push these into a UI folder here. So now the extension that we want to compile is given to us in the documentation. Uh, the syntax here will basically be copying this. This will link to our greeter module. And we can plop that right in here. And it looks like I didn't copy that correctly. There we go. I think that should be just about everything. So we should be able to... Uh, run this, run yarn compile, uh, compile UI script, and it should run this file here. It should compile our extension using our Angular module, which references our component. And this should compile into a new directory called admin UI. Um, I think the last thing we need to do is just modify this to exclude those files from the compilation uh, TypeScript compilation. And to do that, we're just going to go here and exclude, kind of copy this into here. So that part looks good. I think we're ready to run this now and see what happens here. I'm just going to run yarn compile UI. And it cannot find our script. I think that's because we need to change this to uh, go to source since our file is in the source directory. And let's try this again here. And here it looks like, uh, so it did create a new directory. It does have some files in there, but it also spat out an error. And it's saying that it there's no such file as UI extensions. And I believe that's here. It's looking for UI extensions. Um, based on documentation, it should be called UI extensions. 
but I think what we, in this case, um, uh, it would just be called UI, and it would go into our plugins, and this would be this extension, the R plugin. Dash UI, let's try this. Oops, it should be plugins. And after about 10 minutes, should be fully compiled here. Uh, I think the last thing we need to do is just reference our new build here. So we have our admin UI folder with our disk directory here. And we're going to reference that in our config now. So we're going to remove route. Let's comment that out for now. And we're going to add leave the route in there. Okay, let's try to leave the route in there. Documentation doesn't have that. And we should reference that there. I think we just need to exclude a source man dash UI. And anything else, I think that's it. Let's give this a shot here. Okay, it does say it's unable to locate admin UI file. I think it's because our path is actually source. Try this. I think we're almost there. Um, one error that I got here is path must be absolute to specify root to res.send field. Um, and this happens after I so I, I ran yarn dev, it seemed to be looking okay. And then I open up uh, uh, UI here. You see that we get this error message, the status code 500. And that came from, and then we, we see that same error here. And that, that comes from this uh, path variable I found out. And the docs say specify it like this, and it's complaining about an absolute absolute path reference um, so to fix this error I just had to go into here and I had to go uh, path uh, join and get the current directory name and then that would actually I don't think source should have been there at all all right and if we come back over here refresh this we should have that nice hello greeter page here so that's gonna do it for this video this is just gonna be one of the first uh, sorry the first of a few videos where we're going to expand on this plugin folder that we created and actually make an actual plugin Avenger plugin to uh, build off on this UI extension here and if you made it this far in the video, I just want to give a little bit of alpha on this. Well, just a little side note here, really. Um, so in the last part of this documentation, they mentioned how to actually copy these uh, for production. And what you would do here, and I'm not actually going to go through it, but I'll just walk through it. You're going you're to run yarn add. I don't think yarn actually has an install command, so I think that's a typo. I think it should be yarn add copy files. It's going to add this uh, copy files. And then you're going to add this copy script and you're just going to call mpx copy files dash u1. And you're going to reference the source, uh, sorry, the admin UI folder. And you're going to copy that to, um, that should copy that to the dist folder. And then you're going to call this command within the build folder. So you're going to append this onto your build command here. And inside of your compile UI, we called it we called it a compile UI script, but this documentation calls it build colon admin, which I think is probably better to call it this. Uh, you can add this. And so ours basically has this section here. Sorry, this section here where it uh, compiles the calls that TypeScript file. If you want to add this section here, this will remove, forcefully remove all of directories and subdirectories of admin UI that were created and basically try to recreate those. That's all I wanted to say about that. So yeah, thanks for watching.